In this lesson, you are going to learn how to work with mathematical formulae and how to substitute values into formulae in order to evaluate them. Remember, a formula is the mathematical name for a rule. The word formulae is the plural of formula. When we use the word substitute in mathematics, we mean it in exactly the same way as it is used in sport. For example, in a game of football, a player who is substituted leaves the field and is replaced by another player from the substitute's bench. In maths, we remove a letter and replace it with a number. Or, more usually, we replace all of the letters on the right of the equal sign by numbers. Now it is easy to evaluate the formula. x equals 1 times 2 plus 3 equals 5. Let's look at an example. The volume of a pyramid is given by the formula. Volume equals area of the base times the height divided by 3. We write this as V equals A times H divided by 3. If the area of the base is 100 square metres and its height is 25 metres, then what is the volume? Simply substitute 100 for A and 25 for H. So volume equals 100 times 25 divided by 3, which is 833.33 cubic metres. Formulae of this type are often used in physics. For example, power in watts is equal to the square of the current in amps times the resistance in ohms. This is much simpler shown in maths than in English. P equals I squared R. If I is 10 amps and R is 5 ohms, how much power is generated? Simply substitute numbers for letters as before. Remember, I squared means I times I. So, power equals 10 times 10 times 5. The answer is 500 watts. Substituting into formulae with symbols instead of words is quite simple. Simply replace the letters by the numbers that you are given in the question and work out the answer. In this lesson you have learned to work with mathematical formulae and how to substitute values into formulae in order to evaluate them.